This gets foul. It's 0-1. Hits are now even at four apiece. Now here's the pitch. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. Here it comes. Boy, and that's about as bad as you can fool a guy. It's one and two. Well, you don't expect a guy who's having a year like this guy is having to take an ugly hack like that. Lays off two and two now. Yeah, I think you have to ask yourself, was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there? Or was he just trying to set me up for that change up away? And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. Ligaris has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. Back for more from the north side after this. Curtis Granderson will come forward now to begin the seventh inning in what's been a very briskly played ball game here tonight. And that's what happens when you get two starters that are on top of their game. It's been great pitching, great defense, not a lot of base runners, and very even game through six innings. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, that's a pretty good spot to try and lock him up inside, but you know he can turn on that location if that's out over the plate. 2-1 pitch, a circle change taken for a cold strike two. And this isn't the first guy that's been frozen by that pitch tonight. He's had a lot of guys shaking their heads so far. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole and through into left field, so the tying runs aboard to kick off the inning. Juan Ligares will try it again. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground ball thus far. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. A right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Anthony Record will have a shot at driving home that possible tying run that's standing at second. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Has a look, now the pitch. And a bouncing ball, foul. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. He's ready now, the pitch. And he takes very close to the inside corner here. Two and two, though. Fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Dilson Herrera will step in now. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Too low, 1-0. and Pause, now the pitch. And this is swung on and bounced out to the shortstop, Castro. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Mets leave one. It remains 1-0. Javier Baez will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Action in the Mets' bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right-hander that start to throw. There's a first pitch curveball trying to come back to the outside corner. Didn't get it that time. It's ball one. Well, for that man right there, only the one run allowed. How discouraging is that when you're pitching your heart out and you're just not getting the support? Well, the good pitchers really don't let it get to them. They know that it cuts both ways. Sometimes you give up five runs and your guys score you eight. You just have to focus on holding up your end of the bar. Oh, and he misses it. And he'll round it and try for third. Well, I'm not sure if this will wind up being a triple. It really should be a three base error. I mean, here it is. He was there in plenty of time. He just winds up with a handful of air. And they are going to hit him with an E. It's well deserved. And now here comes Mets skipper Terry Collins out to home plate and it looks like we'll see a double switch here. Carlos Torres will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Travis Darnone is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. Now the first pitch. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball here, 0-1. He waits, now the pitch. And oh no, 
play that didn't get him where it sounded like a gun. Coming in to score is the runner from third, and they've pushed it to two here in the seventh. So unfortunately, he'll be forced to leave the game here with an apparent head injury. And we're hoping, of course, it's nothing too serious, but it's usually not good when it's above the neck. Jerry's Familia will be summoned now to take over following the injury. Travis Wood will buy himself another at-bat, and in turn, he'll get himself a nice little ovation for the work he's turned in on the mound so far. Uh, he's been great. This is an appreciative crowd. They like what they've seen, and I don't blame them. Throw over to first. Runner back safely. And another throw over. A dive, but he's back. one -oh on the way. On the move is Lake. It swung out and missed the throw. It's offline, but he's out. Gunned down, trying to swipe the base. You know, with just the slim lead that they have right now, this is still anybody's game. So you hate to give away base runners in situations like this. Now, if it's your elite base dealer, go ahead, let him fly. But right here, this is a tough out for me to give away. Two runs, four hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. 1-1 one, one on the way. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Hey, give him credit up there. He's going to take his hacks. The right-hander deals on one and two. Pitch in the dirt is swung on and missed, so he'll need to get the force at first. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes two to three for good measure as the inning is over. Travis Darno will stand in now as he'll be getting his first plate appearance in this one here in the eighth. And a strike called at the letters. Look high to me, but it's nothing in one. Well, the guy you see right there has been terrific. But will they let him work these final two innings? Well, I think the pitch count is in his favor. Everybody pays a lot of attention to that. So barring a huge spike right here in the eighth, I don't see any reason why he can't get these final six outs. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. And the eighth inning begins with a flyout, quickly one away. Daniel Murphy will get another crack, one for three thus far. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. Pitch on the way. Chopper foul. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. Now this is swung out, and here's another fly ball out to right field. Under it is Lake to take it in for route number two. Well, it's been a game of starting pitching so far as on cue. We give you a look at our starter comparison for these two guys in our 2-0 ball game. David Wright will stand in as they're quickly down to their final four outs tonight. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. Michael Kadire will stand in for the fourth time now, still looking for his first hit of the ball game. And he's not the only one either. This has been a great hit. Meanwhile here, the throw down to second is not in time, and it's a stolen base. Come set, now the pitch. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. And the stolen base winds up as a moot point as the inning is over. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. Here's the first offering. 
pitch of the inning here is wrapped right back from where it came and that'll get into center field for a leadoff single. Dexter Fowler will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. Now here's the first pitch. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Nobody out runner on first. He's set now the pitch. Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No. Strike two says the third base umpire. From the belt, the pitch. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. One, two. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. Step on the back for one. On to Duda, a double play. This is a nice play up the middle. You can see this ball takes the shortstop right to the bag, so he'll just step on second and fire on to first for the double play. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Duda will range over to make the catch just beyond the first base dugout, and that will end the inning. Lucas Duda will be tasked now with leading things off in their half of the ninth as they'll try to do something to prevent being shut out. And whatever they've done for the first eight innings hasn't yielded a whole lot so far. So, quite frankly, I'm not expecting too much. And he reaches up to track this one down for the first out, and he had to go a long way to get to that ball. First pitch on the way. Curtis Granderson set the plate now as he looks at strike one. He continues to get ahead here. He's been in complete control. I think you need to guard yourself from being overconfident, though. A bloop and a blast could still turn this game on its ear. Throw on to first, and the Mets are down to their final out. Juan Ligaris stand in now as their last shot here with two away in the ninth. Yeah, just one final hurdle here before he finishes off the shutout. Down and away, one ball and no strikes. Now the pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard to third. Throw on to first will be in time to get him. And the Cubs have taken games one and two here at home as this one is over. Well, we've talked about it all throughout this game. He was completely in charge, essentially, from pitch one. And now he finishes off a masterful performance here, getting the complete game shutout. Final check of the line score as you see the key players there in this shutout victory. And guys, you can't win if you can't score, so there's probably not a whole lot of debate about who'll take home tops player of the game honors in this one. Yeah, definitely no, no debate as far as I'm concerned. He was really in complete control the whole way through. Only really got into trouble a, a few times and he winds up with a complete game shutout. So that's a wrap here tonight. Eric Carros, Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskersian, you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Facebook at MLB The Show. The Cubs win this one two to nothing. Good night from Chicago. Final night score tonight. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Two runs on five hits. No errors. Left three men on bets. For the bets. Time of the ball game. Two hours and 30 minutes. A reminder that extra southbound CTA red line trains will be available at the Addison Street Station, one block east of Brickley Field. Northbound passengers are asked to board at the Sheridan Station. Post-game bus service will also be available on the 8 Halstead, 22 Clark, 152 Addison, and the 154 Wrigley Field Express Road.